Well, the verdict in the Sabrina Moss murder case came as the government announced how 2,000 young people in the capital have been given jobs and training to help them escape gangs. It says its scheme to put specialist advisers in job centres in 21 boroughs has had some success. Tara Welsh reports. He's been in a gang and in prison, but says his life is starting to change. My family is not kind of as stressed or think, am I going to be OK? or that they're going to get a phone call saying I'm dead or in jail or something. He doesn't want to be identified, but told me how his new job in a hotel is helping to keep him out of prison. And how tempting is it to go back to what you were doing before, given that you don't earn a great deal of money at the moment? It is tempting. I mean, yeah. It depends on how much of a strong person you are. Staff that already work at the job centre have been trained up to work with people in gangs or with those at risk of joining them. And now there are people doing this in 21 boroughs across the capital. And Bola says it takes more than sitting behind a desk. I took the approach of a mother and I did this by spending time with them, going out to hang out with them in places that they enjoy being. I set myself up in various youth centres and I recognised that they needed something more. The government says it's helped 357 young people find jobs. 12 are working for themselves and 958 have done training courses. It's a mural that's been set up for um, the young people who's around this estate. There's been a lot of deaths. Gifford has been working to get youngsters out of gangs for eight years. It's likely that these types of jobs will not give them the type of income that will replace or substitute what they're used to from before. You also have to remember there's a lot of young people that um, aren't necessarily even in the benefit system, they don't claim at all, um, that are not being picked up by this type of initiative as well. So it's part of a programme, it's not the only thing, but it's part of a tapestry of of uh, interventions that uh, help change the lives of these people. But to be honest with you, we turned our, uh, the, as governments, have turned a blind eye to this for far too long uh, and now we're just beginning to get on top of it. But they do agree it's a start, only a small part of the solution though. Tara Welsh, BBC London News. Lots more to come tonight, including 